Okay, today I just want to see with my um, chickpea liquid with it whip into whipped cream. This I never tried this before, so I want to see why I'm doing this here real quick. Also, I'm working on some hummus, making mine from scratch, and you have to go through the process of boiling and taking a husk off of it. And also in the process of that, I'm taking this liquid, it's egg base, to um, do a vegan cake. So I'm gonna have a lot of things going on at one time. We're gonna see this gonna whip up into um, fluffy. What I'm doing now, so now I put a lot of fresh garlic in here, some black pepper. Now also I use my basil season blend that I had left. I added to this hummus, to the chickpeas. Um, I add some uh, oregano into it too. This is gonna be a this experiment. I mean, hummus is not my thing, but you got some people that love it. Her name is Lisa, and I'm going to make this for her. So right now we're gonna come over here and we see little bubbles going on here. So we finna see what this get fluffy, okay? Okay, y'all, this is amazing because I have to make cakes for vegan people and vegetarians. The vegetarians that can handle the butter, but I use vegetarian butter. I don't use the meat because that'd be so wrong. Look at this, y'all. You see this foaming? Do you see this foaming? So this is what's left so far. I am going to freeze this. Just making a little hummus. I just want to try. I have to make a lemon lemon, straight lemon bunk cake for this lady. To keep this cake moist, I'm going to add some applesauce maybe. I can add a puree of a, maybe a little zucchini to give it moisture into the cake so it will not dry out. Oh yeah, boo, you see this? I make my own bread, right? But it comes to a time, sometime, my son and I just don't have time to make bread. Ah, oh, don't get me, y'all. I know, right? This is so cheating, right? But no. Actually, I'm experimenting with this bread. Um, my son Patrick loves bread. That's what I'm talking about, Patrick. He's a bread eater. And so is Victoria. When I make homemade bread around here, it goes so fast. I don't have time even make more. But I'm gonna experiment with this on some mold issues. I wanna uh, get this moldy oldie. So this is some old bread I got from somebody. So I mix my own bread boo. But I just wanna do an experiment on fresh bread and let it get moldy on soap out bread and we just need to pair the molds. So we back to the juice of the chickpea. Look at this, y'all. Do y'all see this? Do you see this? Okay. Now, I have my mom, little too. So I've been already chopping up some garlic in here. I'm going to put my chickpea in here, and I'm going to make it spicy. So I'm going to add some cayenne pepper in the middle of it, and some olive oil, or you can use some coconut oil. I don't like coconut oil or some sesame oil. Um, if you don't have either of those and you just want some hummus, I'm going to use a little vegetable oil, y'all. Yes, vegetable oil. I'm going to use vegetable oil. So I'm going to get started with this. One moment. Okay, we're back, and now I'm going to... What you doing, Patrick? My hands clean, y'all. Believe that. I won't be using my hand. It was. And my area is a mess. So I have things, like I said before in one video, I just have a mess everywhere. It just, I work like that. I just, it's super clean. I forget my thoughts, really. You know, not an organizing person, but I know how to cook. That's for sure. So I need a little oil in this, right, right. 
like I said, this is my second time ever making hummus. Now we put some app in this stuff and get it circulating here. Get it fluffy. See that? Okay. I am creaming this up right now. A lot of things going on as noisy as heck up in this kitchen. But look at this hill. Okay. See this? A little thick. I add some more oil to this after I finish doing the rest of this. Let's take a look at this right quick. I just want to see. Because like I said, this is my first time ever doing it. I don't know, don't know how long it's supposed to take. But look at that. It's not stiff enough yet. But look. Just experiment with that. Just something I just want to show you all. So this is... Okay, here's my homemade hummus. Added me some cayenne sauce in here. Give it a little spiciness. Let's see. Made a little more garlic powder. Y'all, this is really good. Wash off my spoon. Mm -hmm. So I want to add a little bit more. Oh, knock my water over. A little more heat to this. This is ready rock and roll. I add maybe a, a pinch of salt. I don't really want too much salt in here. But it's good, just the way it is now. All I need is me some veggies, to dip it, or some vegetable chips, some kind of chips. And in the middle of this, like this hole right here. I'm going to add... A little bit, you know. If you want that little extra sauce, you can dip. Okay, from my kitchen to yours. Still holding in there, y'all. I'm Pat Smith. Bye.